What's up everyone? Um, so in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a cup of um, coffee, Italian style coffee using the mocha pot. And uh, the mocha pot I'm using is the Primula espresso maker and it's made of entirely aluminum as you can see over here. Um, I bought this in a, a local store for about uh, $15. However, I just found out you can actually buy it on Amazon for only $13. So if you're interested in getting a mocha pot, um, this is a great value because I have used it uh, since yesterday and I've already made six, seven cups of um, Italian style coffee now. And uh, it says it's an espresso maker, but um, it's not really espresso, but the mechanic of making the coffee is similar to a espresso machine so as you can see um, I just moved over to uh, New York area and I, right now I'm living with my friends and uh, the space in their home is limited so I didn't bring my espresso maker over here I have a Gaja Classic Pro that I did uh, quite a lot of reviews and uh, videos on so um, over here this is my best alternative um, for making a cup of good tasting coffee. Um, so back to the uh, the mocha pot. Um, it's a classic design. If you haven't used the mocha pot before, it's really, really easy to use, okay? And this one actually uh, is fairly well made. Um, it's a polished aluminum on the exterior and it makes six cups, uh, or they just call it six cup, but basically it's just one cup of coffee um, with uh, with this size of the mocha pot. And another thing to note is if you want to make more than one cup of coffee, you want to buy a mocha pot that's much, much larger. So um, let's see. So um, without further ado, uh, I'm going to... The mocha pot, basically, it's a three-component design for most of the mocha pots out there. So you have the bottom, which screws off, and on the bottom, you have a little, like, a tempering area, but you don't temper the coffee in here. You basically just put the ground, ground coffee in this little um, holder over here, filter. So the filter is... Um, it looks it looks very very much like a porta filter, but again, it's not. It, it's got some holes for the water to pass through, and on the bottom, it's got a sprout over here for the water again to pass through. So the water comes in from the bottom once the water gets boiled, and uh, the steam passes through this area. It goes to the top, and that's where the coffee is being held. Uh, again, this pot also is great for making Cuban coffee, Cuban style coffee. Um, what Cuban coffee is, is pretty much um, the coffee made using this machine and they put a crap load of sugar in there. Um, and that's basically Cuban coffee. So um, the only difference is the Cuban coffee have lots of sugar and the Italian style coffee doesn't. Um, on the top, you can see there's also a, a, a sprout over here or a sprue. I, th I think it's called a sprue, uh, maybe. So the water, the steam, the water gets uh, gets really hot and actually pushes all the way to the top, and it pushes out from this area. So, um, so all once all the water has turned into steam and came out on the top, that's when the uh, the coffee is made. Okay. So, without further ado, again, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a quick cup of Italian style coffee using the mocha pot. Okay. So. Um, again, this is the cheapest mocha pot I can find locally. You might be able to find, you know, other ones that's cheaper, so that good for you. Uh, whichever you can find is better. By all means, just use it. Um, the coffee I'm using is a decaf because right now it's actually in the evening and I don't want to uh, make myself super excited and be late for work tomorrow. Plus, we have to change the clock. And we're getting one hour less sleep okay so um the recommend using so this is uh one i think one tablespoon so i'm using two tablespoons um, of ground coffee pretty much and i found that's that's a that's a good ratio for me when i'm making the um the the coffee using the mocha pot 
You can, however, you know, add one more tablespoon to make it three tablespoons. So the coffee is uh, is a little bit stronger, and you can also use one less tablespoon or one and a half tablespoon. Um, the coffee is uh, slightly less stronger, but this is my preference for making the um, the the coffee using the mocha pot. And also, um, I'm gonna fill the water. So the trick to fill the water is you fill the water to the uh, to just below the safety valve. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually go fill the water. Should have filled the water first. So here we go, I have water in here. Again, just slightly below the safety valve. And I'm basically just gonna drop the porta, uh, not the porta filter, the, the little filter in here. Close this and basically just tighten it. So once it's tightened, let's see, let's see if I turn it over here. So as you can see, I have a electric wrench. My friend have electric wrench. So um, I'm trying to find the smallest one. Unfortunately, don't have anything this small. So I'm gonna use you know one of the smaller um, burners. I'm gonna turn my uh, burner to eight and that's the setting I use. So once I'm at the setting eight, I actually use the timer to find out how long it takes to brew one cup and it, it's about, it's less than six minutes. So five, five minutes and 30 seconds. So that's how long it takes. But uh, um, let's see, once um, it's almost gonna finish or once the water starts to boil, I'm gonna um, come back and then update this video and let you guys see how it works quickly. Um, and then we can conclude uh, um, from there. Okay, so I'll be right back. Just let it boil for about five minutes. So um, if you have a gas burner, it's much, much better and it's much, much more efficient. You should be able to cook the, uh, to heat up the mocha pot much faster. Okay, if you have a gas burner. Um, and back to what I was saying, so this is supposed to be a six cup, but it, it's only enough to make just one cup of coffee. So like a general sized coffee mug, and that's, that's pretty much the amount that you can make with that. So if you have an electric wrench and you need to make, um, you know, more coffees, um, I would highly suggest to get a pot that's uh, much, much larger. You know how like a lot of apples we got, they don't taste like apples. This one has the apple taste. 